Welcome to the first discussion on the pure competition market model. Now the pure competition market model is defined by something like many firms. That means there's lots of firms out there producing something and what they produce is almost identical. So we have identical products. And the fact is that what one particular firm does doesn't really change what's going on in the market. Let's just draw a quick demand and supply line over here. We have price, quantity. That means this supply line right here is actually representing lots of different firms in one particular market. We'll say wheat. So this supply line is representing all of these firms and one particular firm is really representing just a small portion of say the equilibrium output of wheat. We'll say a hundred thousand tons or something like that. My little wheat farm only produces even half a ton of wheat, nothing compared to what the whole market does. So that's how you get your frame of mind around this thing to begin with. Now, the way this gets modeled first and foremost is we have the market for wheat over here, like we drew over there, demand and supply. And then we have one individual firm over here. So we have, we'll put it company A here. Now the price here is the same as price here on this axis and quantity here is the same identifier over here, quantity. Here's the difference. In this particular market diagram, we get say a $3 equilibrium price for whatever this is, we'll say it's corn. And over here is the company. Now what happens is the company has to accept this market price. It is a price taker. So company A, takes the market price of three dollars here. When it wants to sell its corn, it could sell the corn for less than three dollars, but that doesn't make sense. But there's no way it's going to sell the corn for more than three dollars because the market can buy it from somebody else. So no matter what the quantity of corn is that company A tries to sell, it can sell it for three dollars at the market price. So we make a line that's straight across like that and that's considered the marginal revenue. Here, if you look at this market equilibrium quantity, this might be something like 10,000. And this quantity down here is going to be significantly lower, let's say like 200. Because this 10,000 represents a whole bunch of companies, not just company A, but company B, company C, company D, company E. And they have their own price quantity little diagrams here just like that, and they're all taking the same price of $3. So it's, this is like a representation of all the companies. The equilibrium price gives us their marginal revenue. So if this company makes 200 bushels of corn, you just simply divide, uh, multiply 200 times 3, and this rectangle here, it looks like a square, gives us the total revenue. So this is how this works in terms of revenue for a company in a pure competition model. They accept the market price of $3. They can sell all they want for $3. That's their marginal revenue. How much is it, can they get for selling this amount? $3. This amount? $3. This amount? $3. Every little extra bit they can sell for $3. So marginal times the quantity, that's what this area is, this times this equals this area which is their total revenue. That's about revenue. The next thing we're going to talk about is cost. I'll see you then in Pure Competition 2. See you in the next Blackboard discussion.